hello this is Linda and welcome to my channel if you're new thank you for stopping by if you're oldie thank you for returning so I am about to swap out my beauty basket today is January the 14th so I did get a good bit of wear out of my last beauty basket but y'all I was so excited and ready to swap it out because your girl have a lot of products that's new to me not meaning they new on the market but they new to me and I'm gonna get to try them out so I'm excited about that so we're gonna jump right on into it um I did um for my brows I'm gonna continue to use just my um what one the where is it I can't never find it y'all when I get ready to film and stuff. I have it. Well, I used the pencil today. So, of course, I will use y'all. And this is actually a gray pencil that I did my brows with. Let me, I'm going to zoom y'all in. Y'all can see if y'all can tell. Can you tell I used a gray pencil? Yep. I used this gray pencil. So, I will continue to use it. This is an Ulta um, Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. And I don't know what made me buy it in gray. But anyway. Actually, it says it's not gray. It says it's onyx, which is supposed to be like black. But y'all, I promise y'all, it's gray. And actually, even though I say I'm going to use it, <laughs> I think today I done about used it up. It might be enough for me to do half of a brow. So, um, and I'm going to use my Morphe paint pot. That's what I was looking for. Can't ever find it when I get ready to film. But anyway, I don't share my brow products anyway. So, to carve out my brows though, y'all, I went back and bought the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. And I picked up um, Painterly. Did I get? No, I got Soft Ochre. Y'all, I had this before and it took me forever, forever to use it up. So, a lot of y'all familiar with MAC Paint Pots and stuff. And I do like them. I use it also as an eyeshadow base. So, that is what soft ochre look like. I really, I started to get painterly. I might end up buying painterly next time. Um, or to have a coupon where you can use it on a, on a prestige item. Okay. So, um, I was looking at my phone ringing. I call him back. Okay. Next to prime my face this is new to me also but this is a elf poreless putty primer and this is what it looks like so this is my face primer and along with that i pulled this almost empty so i want to use it up i can tell that i use it up this time this is the Shades by Shan. This is a hydrating primer. So, these are my two primers. For my face, for my foundations, I pulled the NARS. And this is in the Macau shade, medium deep four. And I also, and this is the NARS, this is the soft matte foundation and I also pulled the Morphe foundation and this is the filter perfect um soft focus another soft focus foundation and this is medium to full coverage and mine is in the shade yeah filter rich 28 so this is 28 and this is Macau so oops Y'all, I'm so clumsy. Y'all, two things about me, y'all. I don't know if y'all know. I'm clumsy and I'm nosy. <laughs> Alright, so those are my foundations and my primers. And for... Let me put that in there. For my all-over um, face powder, I didn't pick one yet. So, I am going to use this Too Faced. Born This Way in Toffee. Haven't hit paying on it yet, but I believe I can. So, we're going to use that and see if we can hit paying. Because I finally hit paying on that Lancome um, powder. So, I am not. I started to use it again for this go-round, though. But I might put it back in that, in my next swap. Because I really I like that powder. Okay, so that's my all-over face powder. 
Got a new concealer, and this is the Elf Hydro and Camo Hydro Camo Concealer. So this is my concealer I'll be using, and it is in the shade Tan Walnut. So take it out the package. It's a little bright. Now I do like a bright on the eye. So that's it. That's the only concealer I'm going to use. And then to set underneath my eye, I have this little Laura Mercier little bitty travel size powder in translucent that I'm going to use to set underneath my eyes. This is the only powder I'm going to use. I've had this before. I still have the deep um, Laura Mercier deep in my collection, but I've worn this in a giveaway. So I'm going to use that again. Um, to set my face, I won this in a giveaway. Also, it came in, y'all, I got to post that video still. I had not even posted that video yet. So, I'm going to post that video probably for um, MLK Day, Monday, for it to show up Monday. <laughs> okay, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, y'all. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was so happy to get this. <sighs> Never have tried anything from Charlotte Tilbury, so that'll give me a chance to try something of hers. So, also, I have this Elf Matte Magic Mist Setting Spray that I purchased. I have used this before, but it's been a long time, so don't really know how it works now. But I'm gonna try that too. Then, oh, excuse me. For blush, I won these also um, in the giveaway that I won. And this is the LYS blush. And I chose this um, color. I had three of them. They came in the giveaway. And this one is in the shade um, In Power. And these are cream blushes. So, can't wait to try it. And I know some of y'all use these. Um, I, I know Jackie, um, other side of beauty, over 50. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I know Miss Jackie, she uses it. And um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure plenty of other folks use it on here. So, And I think they got good reviews. So I get to try that. Then another, these other ones I also want in a giveaway. And this is the Natasha Denona Rose Cheek Duo. The little packaging is so cute. And then this is the beauty inside. This is the, you see that? Those colors are so pretty whenever it focuses, yeah. So that's a pretty blush and then I, that's a highlighter. So I'll use that highlighter and actually, I think that's going to be the only highlighter that I choose because I don't really care about, you know, switching up. I mean, having more than one highlighter and stuff. Use a highlighter's highlighter to me. And then also, this Delphine, this is a Lip and Cheek by Rose Ink. I also won it in a giveaway. Same giveaway, y'all. I want a lot of stuff in that giveaway, y'all, that I'm trying out. And y'all, look how pretty that blush is. That is so pretty. So, I can't wait to try that. Oh, yeah. That, that's going to be pretty. And for my eyeshadow palette, I my sister gave me this palette for Christmas. This is the Milani Gilded Getaway. I remember this little palette, but I never picked it up. And it's cute. And I hadn't took the plastic off of it, but these are the shades. So along with that palette, I pulled this Shayna B palette, Miami. And oops, those are the shades on that. This is a nice everyday palette for me. 
I can wear this to work every day. I love the orange, the south peach, and the darker shade, yeah. And then I pulled this Tetris palette. And these are the shades, y'all. I <laughs> That blue and that gold, y'all, I can't wait. Every time I pull this palette, I, I love those colors. I love the eye look I come up with every time, even though it looked the same, because I always put those colors together. That, um, now that, um, Game Changer, which is like a mustard color, and that blue together, mm, game over. Yes. So, I can't wait to play with that palette, too. So, that's everything that I have in my beauty basket for these next few weeks, a month, whenever I decide to change it again. I'm not on a schedule or when I'm going to change it. It's just that if I get some new products and I'm ready to start to try those, I might swap it out or just when I get tired of, you know, everything in here or something or say if I run out of something then I'll just go and do a new beauty basket. But that's it y'all. So thank y'all for watching. If you had not already subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comment section and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye bye.